Hyper Farm, I think, really gives you the opportunity to, to open your eyes, to look further ahead. This is actually a tool that is going to make a, yeah, a huge difference. 3D visualisation is the best way to do it. The data is already there. If we can grow 30 years of crops in 30 seconds. I'm Trevor Stussridge, I'm the Research Director for Ag Research. So my role really is to look after the science engine for the organisation. So I'm involved in looking after 530 scientific staff. So we have a range of people working on Hyper Farm that probably wouldn't normally work together. So we started with a small team with expertise in social, biophysical and farm system science. And we are now a bigger team with a lot of knowledge on digital tool development and three companies are now involved into the development. We're very clear that farmers are faced with the complexity of decision making. My business is going through a succession phase and behind us is quite a significant hill country paddock, um, about 20 hectares, but there's some major challenges with it. So we kind of need to rethink what these paddocks look like and, and how we farm them. We had a theory that we could help farmers make decisions if we showed them a picture of what they were deciding on. We're essentially trying to portray an image of the future that helps farmers emotionally connect to what the, the future might look like, but also trying to simplify all of that science information that's sitting in models. And we did that with a, quite a simple concept. Yeah, well, I think Hyperfarm is a great example where we're taking some deep science that's been developed over a, a number of years, and often the science takes quite a while to get to the end user because we need to sort of package it up. So Hyperfarm is a way of packaging up our science in a way that's really accessible to the farmers. Well, it wasn't hard to um, find farmer groups for the project. Hyperfarm had already been out and showcased at some events. Um, so we really quickly found um, three farmer groups, Rural Innovation Lab, Southern Dairy Hub and a group of farmers in the Amiri catchment. Hi, I'm Matt Hocken. Uh, this is Grassmere Dairy. It's our farm in the Manawatu on the banks of the Oura River. So we've been working with Ag Research on their Hyper Farm tool. Farmers got in, really uh, sort of hacked around with it with the tool a bit, gave some feedback and I understand that was very valuable for them in terms of working through what a, what a farmer and grower perspective, um, how they would use it, what would be the purpose and also just the usability of, of the tool. I'm Laura Morrison, um, my husband and I are farming just north of Martin on a sheep and beef farm. In the past I guess with the way that we farmed it was basically all by doing and inheriting knowledge from previous generation. Now with the way that we approach decision making, it, sure it's with that, that instinct and that learned knowledge, but it's also with access to all the technology and information that's out there. I was really excited with Piper Farm because I could see the massive potential that it had and I loved that it's got the potential to gently guide the way that farmers make decisions. For me agriculture is on the cusp of a big transition uh, and it's, uh, it's really exciting to be part of a, a tool that's really at the cutting edge. Essentially you know what we're doing is, is, is farming land, farming soil and, and what we do with that, um, the most productive use, the one that's accepted by the consumer, by, by communities, is the one that will be the, the most successful going forward. Since the first generation, we worked a lot on the modeling part. Uh, we are now able to provide a more holistic view of the land use change and the impact of land use change. We now have four different indicators for water quality, three different indicators for greenhouse gases emissions, two indicators for economic profitability, and an updated version of the biodiversity model. So it is now very an integrated understanding on what is the impact of new land uses. This isn't a tool that's just been created because IT specialists have been able to kind of work with mixed virtual reality guys and create this beautiful looking thing. So this is the sort of tool I think we need to translate our science more effectively. It's okay to be bold, it's okay to be courageous, it's okay to reach out to people we don't normally work with. Scientists often underestimate how exciting our science is. They don't realise just how amazing the public and the end users find our science, and Hyperfarm is a great way to sell that. 
the way that they're conveying that is not just you know a, t a team of hardworking scientists in the background. They're, it's actually bridging that link between what's happening behind the scenes and those that are on the farm. Um, and I think those kinds of collaborations are, are gold for the future of farming. You know, using a tool like Hyperfarm, you can really test the water and see what it looks like um, before having that full commitment where, where you've got to go all in, um, which is, um, you know, a serious commitment. I can think about my three-year-old son's future, make those decisions where we can strike a balance between looking after the land better, but also still operating a business where we look after our bottom line. We've just recently come off an accelerator program. We won an award for that uh, product. But what's really exciting is that we're now in a really good place with key industry partners to get a product out to farmers that is actually going to make a difference.